Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to do the new topic that is the playing with numbers. So now let us see the part one of it. So we'll go directly with the exercise because here you don't need more, more explanation. So it's very simple. So here they said write the following in the generalized form. So here you know this is the ones place or also we call it as the unit place and this is the tens place. So ones place means this will be multiplied by one and this number is going to be multiplied by 10. So we write here this two multiplied by 10 and this will be nine into one. So this is the generalized form. Now same here ones and tens. So this is going to be seven into 10 and plus one into one. Now this is ones, tens and hundred. So this is going to be eight into hundred plus five into 10 plus two into one. Again, this will be ones, tens and hundreds. So this is going to be four into hundred plus this is zero, so we need not write because zero into 10 is going to be zero. So here, six into one. So here, find the values of letters in each of the following and give reasons for the steps in one. So now we have to check here. Now this is A, and when you add plus nine to it, and here you get five, means this number is going to be a something bigger. So now where do you get here? This will be, something will be 15. So here, to get 15 means this is 9. So here you need 6 more. So this A is 6. So 6 plus 9 is 15. So the, the remainder is 1 over here. So here 1 plus 4 plus 7, that is going to be 12. So here will be B will be 2. And here this will be 1. So this C is going to be again here 1. So now can you see here A is 6, B is 2, and C is 1. Now look at here, this when you add this, this is going to be 10. 10 means this is P is going to be 0 and the remainder is 1. So again, now you know 2 plus 1 is 3 and you know P is 0. So here, this will be, this is 3. So now again, P is 0. We know. So this should be both Q plus Q means this will be 5 plus 5. So this will be 10. So the remainder is 1. So this is 1. So what you can write here, P is 0 and Q is 5. So now here, again you can write here, now this is 7. So what are you going to do? We can write here, if you consider this as, now you want, this is 6. Now see here, we can go this in there because we don't know both the numbers. So here what we can do, if this is 3, suppose this is 3, and this also should be 3. So now the possibility of this one is this should be 10. So 10 uh, to get this to 3, sorry, this should be if this is 3 and this is uh, here, this should be 6. But that is not possible because 6 plus 7 that is going to be 13 then there should the remainder should be one so the possibility here this will be five now see here if we take here five so this is going to be 12 so here if we write here one if this is two so here you got one so two plus this will be one two and this three this should be six so here should be five so a is two and b is 5. So again you can check for this one. See here, here you got 9. So this should be actually 0. So here if you take the, if you borrow 1 from here, this is going to be 3 and this is going to be 10. So now this is going to be 9. So now what we can write here, again if you borrow from here, this should be 4, this should be 13. So that means this should be 5. So now here is 0. So now here you got this as, sorry, this will be 7. 
because this is 7. You have borrowed your work. This is 7. So now you want your 0. So this should be C7 minus 7 will be 0. And you know this A you got this here like 5 means this also should be 5. So it will be 5, 0. It should be 5, 0, 5, 9. So now this is given A is 5, B is 0 and C is 7. So I think you can do it this easily. If we take a 5 to 5, this is, will be 25. So here what will you get here? Then 5 to the 10. So this is not possible. This is 39. So here should be 6 into 6. It will be 36. So this will be 3. So 6 here and here 6. So this should be 36 now. So now what you can write here? Sorry, this is 6. So now this will be 3. 6 is the 36 and this 3 will be 39. So here the A should be 6. Now here this is 1. So this should be 9. 9, 9 is 81. So the remainder is 8. So now you want A, A. So now what you can consider here? So this if you are considering here 4. 9, 4 is 36. 36 and this 8 is going to be 44. So both because A, A means this is going to be 4, 4. So because this is 4, this also should be 4, 4. So A is 4 and B is 9. Again, you can have a check for this one. Just you can try for this one. So here B, B, both the numbers should be same. So if we take a 5 and here also 5, so it should be 25. So here 5, here will be 2. So now, because here is CC, so now what will you do your 5? If we take your 1, so 5 ones are 5 and this is going to be 7. So here, if you take your 2 and here 2 and this is 5. So now see here, this is 5. So A is 1, so this will be 1 and this also is going to be 1. B is 5. So 15 into 15. So that is going to be 225. Now here, this is 8. So here what you do get here? This is 1. So this should be 7. Q should be 7. So you get 8. So now here, this is 1. So what will be the possibility here? So now this Q is 7. Here is 1. So here is one means it should be now if we consider here as P as here 5. So here B as 6. So it will be 11. 11 means this is 1. And again the remainder is 1. So 3. And now you know B is 6. So here what do you get here? 6, 7, 6, 7, 8, 9. And here. Suppose this is 6 and here you got 11. So here should be A will be 3. So hope you got this one. Because here B is 6. So this is 6 and this is 5. So this is the answer is written over here. A number trick is given below. Now see I think of a 3 digit number. Add 7 to 8 then double 8 subtract 4 and then divide it by 2 now subtract the original number from this one you will be left with 5 can you explain how this trick works now see here there think of a three digit number so let the three digit number be x now the second one what did they say add 7 to 8 add 7 to it means x plus 7 then double it double it means 2 into x plus 7 why did we put a bracket because there are two terms so what will you get here? 2x plus 14. Now, subtract 4. So subtract 4 means 2x plus 14 minus 4 means this will be plus 14 minus 4 means plus 14 minus 4. That is going to be plus 10. So 2x plus 10. Then after that, divide it by 2. This number you are going to divide it by 2. So 2x plus 
10 divided by 2. So what you can see when you write it to x plus 10, so this is the first term, this is the second term. So we'll take common as 2. What remains in the bracket is x plus 5. So again, you can check it to x plus 10. So 2 into x plus 5, we have to put a bracket over here. So 2 and 2 get cancelled over here. So what remains is x plus 5. Then what did they say? Now subtract the original number from this one. So what, what is the original number is x. So from this one, x plus or subtract original number, x plus 5. And the original number is x, so minus x. So plus x and minus x gets cancelled, you get 5. So that is what they have said. You will be left with 5. So we got 5. So by this one, we have completed today's work. Do like and subscribe to my channel. So you get a notification of the other parts. Thank you.